We're going in depth with an IT team investigation follow up site on College of the Desert and transparency concerns over hundreds of millions of dollars in bond money. The city of Palm Springs again raising concerns on this. An attorney for the city sent a letter to the College of the Desert yesterday noting alleged agenda irregularities with the college's board of trustees meetings, including decisions made by the board before the public could comment. It also argued COD may be in violation of the Brown Act. That law bars public agencies from conducting public business behind closed doors in most cases. I-Team Investigator Jeff Stahl spoke with City Manager Justin Clifton today about some COD land sale concerns. He says the city is not trying to assume bad faith or be a hostile partner with the college, but does want to ensure the public has a right to see decisions be made out in the open, above board, and according to the law. You're not trying to be hostile but the legal letter route was taken because why? Well, in, in part because these are legal issues, right? So, so when it comes to Brown Act and other things, we want to make clear that, that some of this is a request in the spirit of partnership. But the legal line is a bright one. Hmm. And, and, and we feel we need to be really clear on when we think we might be either near or across that line so that there's no ambiguity in, in that kind of a, a position. Clifton says the city hopes to continue making good progress with COD toward building West Valley facilities and see that the aims of the bond initiatives come to fruition. Palm Springs and other West Valley entities, including Cathedral City, have expressed big concerns this past six months. They're urging COD to honor its commitment to building long-planned West Valley facilities in Palm Springs and also the recently canceled Roadrunner Automotive Training Center in Cathedral City. We contacted COD for comment. The president's office replied a short time ago saying it received the letter and will release a response once a review is complete. You can read more about the concerns online at KESQ.com.